My name is Mike Sabrin. Uh, I'm a retired aerospace engineer, and this is my airplane, uh, Rutan Long Easy, designed by Burt Rutan. Uh, it's an unusual airplane. Uh, it's all composite fiberglass construction. Uh, it has the engine in the rear, and the front has a small wing called a canard, in addition to the main wing, which is in, in the rear. Uh, and this was designed to prevent the stall spin accident by having the canard stall before the main wing does when an aerodynamic stall occurs, bringing the nose down and automatically preventing the stall of the main wing. So it's a very sa uh, safe uh, innovation. It also is a lifting surface, whereas a normal tail on a, on a Cessna is a down lifting surface. So this surface contributes to the total lift of the airplane, meaning you can make the wing smaller and you're more efficient. We're going to take a look inside here for a moment. We have some weight here in the nose to prevent the thing from falling backward because of the fact that the pilot's not sitting here. But uh, we can see here the normal standard uh, six-pack uh, aircraft instruments. I don't have any glass cockpit in my airplane. This was built in 1995 and it's been flying for 25 years. And uh, the pilot sits in front, the passenger sits behind. Uh, you see the fuel gauges there. There's a fuel gauge on each tank, and it's a direct sight fuel gauge, so you're looking at the actual level of the fuel. Um, the, uh, there's a storage area behind that little uh, barrier there inside this spar the wing spar. You can put tents in there. We've done that when we've flown to Oshkosh and so forth. There's a baggage area in, in, in the, on both sides of the fuselage here, and there's uh, two fuel tanks. Uh, in the outer portions of the wing, what they call the wing strakes. We'll go ahead and take a look at the engine com area here in the rear. This is a canard pusher. It's a pusher because the propeller is pushing the air back this way instead of pulling you through the air. And this is a standard Lycoming O235 engine. It's 180, 118 horsepower and uh, the airplane will cruise at 180 to 185 miles per hour. Uh, burning about six and a half gallons an hour, so it's been it's a very designed for uh, long cross-country efficiency. Uh, this airplane's capable of flying from here here in Seattle to Chicago non-stop, uh, non-refueled with the, with uh, flying at a, an economical speed. So it's quite a I've never done it. Uh, my my body won't last that long. But <laughs> and you see on the wingtips, these are called winglets, and uh, <clears throat> they are basically the rudders you can have a movable part on both sides i can actually deploy both rudders at the same time to add drag and help me slow down in, in landing and so forth uh, but uh, the, the advantage of these these are designed aerodynamically to help counter the tip vortex that normally comes off the wing tips and adds drag so they reduce drag and again add to efficiency and you see most of the jetliners nowadays have these winglets Rutan was the first designer to ever put them on an airplane and actually fly it. And uh, now you see them everywhere. Okay, we move around to, around to the front of the aircraft. Uh, this is again the canard wing, uh, providing the lift and providing pitch control with the elevator here. So this is where my pitch control is. The ailerons are on the wings just like a normal airplane and the rudders are out there at the, on the winglets. The nose gear here, you can see, it, this is a retractable nose gear. And uh, normally when you see this airplane parked, we've got some weight in the nose to keep it from falling backwards. But uh, because of the weight of the engine in the back and the pilot not being in the cockpit, the balance is, uh, center of gravity is moved aft. And it could be pretty unstable here, sitting, uh, wind gusts could cause it to fall over backwards. So this gear is designed to retract. It's a, a, ma a manual crank, although some guys have electric uh, uh, nose lift in their airplanes. But uh, when I park it, there's a rubber bumper under here, and the nose will sit down. I retract the gear and lower it down on its nose so the airplane looks like it's in a praying position sitting on its nose. And that's, again, to uh, make the, put the aircraft in a very stable position in parking. And it's auto, it automatically chocks with this uh, rubber uh, a bumper. Uh, it works out real well. But it's a little bit odd. When people first see it, the first question I get at air, at sh air shows and fly-ins is, uh, how, do you, how do you take off with that airplane? You know, and uh, we have a lot of jokes about it, but it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, 
uh, one of the unique features that, uh, and it's part of the trade-offs, every aircraft is, uh, trades things off. Uh, and uh, in order to get the uh, aerodynamics that this airplane has and uh, the low drag that this airplane has and the, with the composite smooth surfaces with no rivets and so forth, uh, you make other compromises. It's been a very, very efficient airplane. It's been a lot of fun. We've flown it all over the western United States and flown it to Oshkosh twice. Uh, and uh, we just absolutely love flying it. The visibility is incredible from the, from the front seat, and it's pretty good from the back also with that bubble canopy, and you can see out and around. I can see down on both sides. I don't have it, uh, anything obstructing me in the front other than in the canard, which doesn't obstruct very much. And uh, it's, I can see other airplanes. I can see airplanes above me. I can see airplanes below me. It's a very good safety feature as well. I'm very, very happy with this airplane. I built it myself. It's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic feeling to be flying along at almost 200 miles an hour in something that you built in your, in your own house. But uh, I love the airplane and uh, it's, it's something worth looking into. Uh, we, uh, you can't buy plans directly anymore, but uh, if you look at Trader Plane, you can, you can get plans and you can get support. Uh, and uh, there are other derivatives of it as well, but, but I am totally thrilled and satisfied with it and uh, I recommend it to anybody.